I didn't say I was going to use it for that. <laughs> First off, I, I really want to know, you know, the emotion of family is very strong in every single season, but primarily this one, it's like you guys are finally kind of working together of some sorts yeah. towards, especially towards the for end. the first time. Yeah. Maybe, so I'm of. curious to know what was the feeling going into this final season? How does it compare with the first time you guys ever stepped on set together? And is this where you guys thought your characters would end up at? Oh my God. I was so nervous the first time. So <laughs> oh my God. So, so that first time I stepped on set was the insane asylum stuff um, oh. in season two. Yeah. And that was so cool. I was really excited to like get to work and try out my new things. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had like this pack of cigarettes that I was like, I really want to play with these cigarettes. And they were like, no, we don't have like, we're not paying for this brand. Yeah. And I was like, fuck up. Oh, <laughs> I was like, we just put tape on it. We can't get tape. We've got yeah. one set. So I'm like, I'll just hold it. I'll just hold it. <laughs> and they were like, well, we can't say anything to that. So fine. <laughs> she really wants this toy. Mm -hmm. um, so I remember that. And now... <laughs> now on set um yeah it's like walking on you're like at home with your yeah. family and yeah. so i'm like where are the snacks <laughs> <laughs> where's my nap area and mm. you know um it's all it's just been so exciting mm -hmm. each time no I, I i totally get that and for you first time like season one yeah season one um, I mean, I too was incredibly nervous. I'd never been in front of a camera before in yeah. any professional capacity. That's wild. And <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know, no. So I just didn't know what I was doing. Everyone was throwing around all this like lingo and like oh, yeah. camera jargon that I just was like, what is everyone talking about? What does 10 1 mean? Like, what? <laughs> Go to your marks. I was like, I don't Do understand. I learned what that meant with this job. Going 10-1. Yeah. Well. Going to the bathroom. Um, Good to know, because I was about to ask, well, yeah, what does that mean? It, when they're like, Emmy's gone 10-1, they announce it to the entire cast and oh, crew great. that I have gone to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> that, that makes it family very fast. Yes, yes. 10-1, everyone. Um, so, yeah, it, I was incredibly nervous. And, and one of my first scenes was with Elliot. And, you know, it's an Oscar-nominated actor. And I just mm -hmm. felt so out of my depths. Um, but also just had to trust that I was like, I'm here for a reason. <laughs> it's gonna be great, even though I don't know what I'm doing and this is crazy and I'm so scared. But um, but then I don't know, it just immediately felt so at home. And I think we all just clicked right into our characters and I think we were all just cast so beautifully and it started to just write itself. And I think okay. um, to answer like one of your later questions yeah. in this one question of yeah. like, did I think that our characters or specifically my character would end up where she does at the end of the fourth season? No way in hell. Like I, I also think this show is so remarkable and wild and, and, and the universe that it's created is exactly. so vast. It, we all could have literally taken any journey. And so I think, um, that was kind of what was so beautiful of being an actor in the show is like every season it was like, what nonsense are we gonna get up to this season? Yeah. And Which is a lot always, of nonsense. I mean, every season ridiculous. gets crazier. It's wild. It, yes. It's wild. So it was just like, what have the what are the writers gonna do to us this season? Yeah. And that was the fun part. We never really knew, you know, and and sometimes it was like changing on the fly and 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 you know, we most seasons we'd start filming and we actually like the last episodes wouldn't have been written yet. So it was kind okay. of all happening at the same time, which was really cool. So yeah, yeah. you could never even tell that at all. And <laughs> like, since this is the final season, is there anything you guys took from what your characters may have learned this season, specifically about family? Like both of your guys' characters kind of like start off in like kind of a weird situation, you know, family's not maybe the main priority, but by the end it, kind of becomes their main centerpiece. So is there anything you guys took from your guys' character from the final season? Um, I think, again, it's hard with that kind of question with the spoilers. Uh, yeah. Um, but I think one thing is, you know, the, it's the final season mm -hmm. and we felt so much connection and gratitude for filming, knowing that this was going to be the last one. So, yes, within the show and the characters, but also, like, with each other, this, like... Um, just not taking it for granted mm -hmm. and you know nothing lasts forever and so just remembering to like cherish the ones around you and that sounds like cliche but it's sort of you know you're living 
when you're living it, you can really feel it. Like mm -hmm. everything comes to an end. And so enjoy it while it's there. Um, it's easier said than done, but you know, it's it's like you can either focus on the sad part that is like it's all ending or like oh my god i've got this family from this show yeah. that i get to have in life now like that's the best blessing yeah and i think like the audience also feels that way too it's like when i was finishing this season i was like this is like the most bittersweet ending that i could possibly get and i felt just like i felt a little sad and then it just like all hit me all at once, like a couple hours later. And I was like telling my wife about this. I was like, I can't wait for you to watch this final season. So, but like back to you as well, like the, the character, like, is there anything you took from this final season as well in your character arc? You know, I think some, this season felt very full circle to me. Mm -hmm. um, I was 28 when I got cast in the show and I'm in my thirties now. Um, <laughs> but at a very young age, um, I got cast to, portray a woman who is a mother mm -hmm. and is a mother who is, um, you know, has made a lot of mistakes as a mother and hasn't been the best mom. And then we see her move through these seasons trying to constantly change that and get back to her daughter and be the mother that she never had. And I think it was really full circle that I was actually pregnant the entire time we were That's filming amazing. the last season. And so I was actually ending my chapter of like pretending to be a mom while I was becoming a mom in real life. And I think um, even though I learned a lot of what not to do from Allison as a mm -hmm. mom, <laughs> I do think that she's incredibly fierce and incredibly nurturing and, um, and brave and we saw her do anything to mm -hmm. get back to her daughter and we saw her put it all on the line and risk everything, including her relationships with her own brothers and sisters to get back to her daughter. And I think that is really beautiful and really profound. And um, I think I will, I will take Allison's like this like lioness, like fierce motherhood essence from her and, and apply that to my now eight month old baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, congrats on that as well. Thank you. Um, there's a ton of time travel, parallel universes, all these weird circumstances through all the seasons and a lot in this one as well. If you guys could travel back to any day on set, any of the seasons, for any reason, which day would it be for you guys? Just like this sort of time travel going back or forwards. And I don't like the whole going <laughs> backwards thing yeah. because it's like, no regrets, but you're saying it in a nice way, you're like, just to, re <laughs> to revisit, revisit it, yeah. It. So, fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I don't know, this season, but spoilers, so. Yeah, none, I understand. <laughs> um, Wait, so we're, we're the question again? What, if you could go back to any day on set for any of the seasons. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would actually, I would say the dance fight, dance off, battle off fight between the umbrellas and the sparrows. Okay. That took us about 10 days to film. So it was such a massive undertaking yeah. and so insane and so intense and a lot of rehearsals and a lot of fight training and stunt training. Um, but when we were all on set and they'd turn on the music and we'd start dancing, it was so fun. It was so fun, especially like the freestyle where there's like confetti and balloons everywhere. And we were just, um, yeah, getting to, to just play and have fun. I think that I was just so proud of everybody for actually pulling that off. Cause that was like such a feat, mm -hmm. this like dream sequence dance that then in reality is like a massive fight sequence with like, you know, 14 people like that's wild in a very small space um it was really incredible so it was a long 10 days but i think um i i really i really had fun doing that yeah i love that it's a great moment it's a great moment in yeah. season three uh so also this season you guys play around with powers a little bit mm -hmm. of course it's a little bit different again mm -hmm. not getting into spoilers so if you guys could take any powers into real life which one would you take? And it could be something from the show or it could just be something that maybe never was introduced in the show. I thought about this really great power today because I didn't have this, <laughs> I didn't have the best night's sleep. Mm -hmm. You know, we had the, the premiere Monday. Monday. Yep. We've been doing a lot of press. And yesterday we went for dinner and then we had a 5 a.m. call time this morning and I didn't sleep that well. So my power would be to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Ooh. And then maybe uh, wake up. Wake up when you want refreshed. to, yeah. But you'd be asleep, so how would you do, do that? Oh, I don't know. Um, so yeah, just like making things happen instantly. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I, I feel like because it's so unique and I feel like maybe I'm partial to it, but I do think the mind manipulation of Allison is yeah. pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And I think like as the seasons yeah, go, someone I, says they love you, they, it's like because you've manipulated them into that. Like that's not satisfying. I didn't say he was going to use it for that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> love me. <laughs> I heard rumor you love me. <laughs> um, but yeah, but I also think it's an incredibly risky power to have and can be used f for not great things. Yeah. So I also understand that it's, you know. That's also complicated. So then, so then my easier answer would probably be, I don't know, I think time travel is cool. Hey, all that works out. Well, thank you guys so much again for coming to of Arizona. Course. Embracing the heat, because it is the worst <laughs> the time. The surface of the sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but we appreciate you guys, and again, love the season. So thank you guys again. Thank you.